As we celebrate this holiday weekend with friends and family at home or with our flying partners at work, remember, Labor Day is our day. This U.S. holiday is a celebration of working women and men joining together to collectively bargain for a fair wage, humane schedules, health and safety on the job, and benefits that allow us to care for our families. We are not motivated by golden parachutes that pay whether we perform our jobs well or not. We are moved by the pride we take in a job well done, the means to provide for our families, and the joy we feel when taking care of others. Unions allow us to take care of each other. We are powerful when we stand together. Our industry has changed drastically in recent years through mega mergers promoted on the idea that joining together creates strength. Yet flight attendants and other aviation workers have been set up to believe that we are in competition with each other. In a time of record profits, it is no coincidence that at Delta the merger was used as a tool to throw out the Northwest contract and undercut the value of our careers. It is no coincidence that at American, management used competition between unions to distract flight attendants from the reality that a deal was cut to deny American flight attendants a vote on their contract. At United, the prior management team under Smysic promoted the idea that flight attendants were in competition with each other, rather than the idea that we can build upon each other's strengths. Yet through our power of solidarity, we achieved an industry-leading agreement and the means to raise wages at American too. These distractions, this pitting of flight attendants against each other, didn't just deny all of us an incredible opportunity to achieve massive gains for our profession at a time of unprecedented profits. It kept us from tackling issues of inequality. United, American, Delta, and Alaska charge the same ticket price for each route, but define the value of a flight attendant job as 45% less if the work is performed on a regional carrier. When management determines which routes are regional, our value is cut in half. We must bridge the gap to mend this incredible vulnerability in our careers and ensure that all of aviation's first responders are equally compensated for our work. Meanwhile, multinational corporate thieves are attempting to change the rules for international aviation to outsource all of our jobs to countries without the most basic labor standards. Every time we focus on differences among each other, we cede ground to those who seek to profit from our disunity. Every minute we spend engaged in tearing each other down is a minute we could otherwise use to fight harmful trade agreements or advance efforts to combat flight attendant fatigue or take on the issue of antiquated scheduling systems that impede our flexibility or lead to a ridiculous event of thousands of flight attendants sleeping in airports. We can't waste another minute to find common ground and take on the issues stronger and better together. If it were not for our unions, there would be no Labor Day. Unions exist in order to address big issues, issues that individual workers cannot begin to address on their own. For decades, the United Auto Workers were widely recognized as the most powerful union in America, largely responsible for setting the standards of the middle class. That didn't just happen by accident. As the industry grew, union leaders like Walter Ruther realized that auto workers would never have real job security or pay and benefits that they deserved unless all auto workers were united in one union. In a little more than five years, UAW organized hundreds of thousands of auto workers, first at GM, then Chrysler, and finally at Ford. Suddenly, nearly all the auto workers in the country were united together in the UAW. Good contracts followed year after year. Their unity in the UAW generated so much power because they all supported each other to focus efforts on one company where they would negotiate a new industry standard. The other companies would have to match that without even a fight. Auto workers understood that single company unionism is a contradiction in terms. And a quick note for those who have been led to believe that the UAW drove jobs away. Jobs were sent overseas by auto industry management because of laws that en enabled that or even rewarded companies who did so. Jobs were also lost to foreign companies because of legal loopholes, lopsided trade deals, and because the union was slow to attempt to organize the foreign automakers when they invaded the U.S. market. Management may come and go with their millions, but we are the constant. We have to own that. It's never about competition between the workers. It's always about the latest business model and the legal loopholes bought by those who leverage money in politics. How do we stand up against that kind of paid for power? We unite. 
to strengthen our voice as the work group with more public contact than any other in the world. We exercise our right to cast a vote for our families. We build our power by focusing all that we have in common, which is so much more than anything that divides us. We offer our assistance and solidarity with APFA to make the most out of the contractually required negotiations and arbitration that will raise wages at American to match the value of the ratified United contract. We commit to walking any picket line in place to advance our careers or maintain the rights that enable us to collectively bargain. Unity can achieve real results. This requires embracing each other, our varied histories and our common goals. This means coming together and holding strong even when management seeks to divide us and pit one group against another. Flight attendants everywhere, listen up! Global political and corporate forces bigger than our individual airlines are at work here. Our airlines and our careers are at risk because of pressures to change our laws and the demand for trade deals that allow corporations to trample our rights. Just like trade deals that allowed the auto industry jobs to be sent to China and Latin America, TPP and corporate initiatives like Norwegian Air could have a sweeping impact on our airline industry. Airlines have been consolidating their market share and their power for decades. It's high time that we do the same. All flight attendants need to come together around our common issues and unite around our common strengths. This Labor Day, you can make a difference through a simple action. Take time to recognize the contributions of a flying partner. Every voice, every action by one has a meaning for us all. Tell someone, thank you. It's nice to work with you. And the truth is, being together is the best part of this job. Happy Labor Day. We are stronger and better together. Thank you and fly safe.